All right, welcome back to iPad 201, Beyond Basics to Practical Classroom Uses. This is part four, the last part of a series of videos helping you to understand how to use a few apps that you can use in your classroom to really effectively change what you're doing. We've already introduced you to three apps. The first was Show Me, an app that's a, a, a screencasting app, a whiteboard app, whatever you want to call it, that you can use tomorrow in your classroom. Then we covered Explain Everything. Explain Everything being an app that is similar to Show Me, but a very large upgrade that would take you some time to learn to use, but well worth learning to use. That was part two. Part three, we looked at Infuse Learning. Infuse Learning was a student response system um, that really helps teachers to connect to their students right in the moment. Um, you don't, no preparation is really needed. You can just get the students in, ask questions live on the spot, collect some data, do some formative assessment, Really, really cool tool, Infuse Learning. That was in part three. Part four, we are going to focus on Nearpod. Nearpod is an amazing app. It is an app that you are gonna to wanna to use in your classroom. But Nearpod is an upgrade from Infuse Learning when it comes interacting with your whole class because you need to prepare to use Nearpod well. Nearpod is not something you just wanna flip on and send to your class. You need to, to prepare just like you would a PowerPoint presentation back in the day where you put time into creating your slides and thinking about it. Same thing with Nearpod. Nearpod is an amazing app. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into Nearpod, show you how it works, let you see how uh, the interactions go. So here we are, I've got my devices set up. The, the iPad here in the middle, that's gonna be the teacher device. You're gonna see that. Here is a student on an iPhone, on a laptop, and on a computer. So here we go. First things first, this is what's gonna look like when you jump into Nearpod. I've preloaded uh, Nearpod's example called Meet Nearpod. I've preloaded it in, um, so it's that first one right here. I'm just gonna click on it. It's gonna come here, give me some options, and it's gonna say live session or homework. Well, here's the difference. Live session, I can right now start it. It'll give me a pin. All the students will enter the pin into their devices, and we will all go together. I can control devices. I can move them forward, move them backward, do what I need to do. Or I can assign it for homework, and then students can do it at their own pace. They could even still do it in the classroom, just at their own pace. Um, or if I sign up for homework, they can do it and then they can. I can get data from it later on. So we're gonna do a live session. It's going to give me a code when I click live session. So this is my pin. This is what every device needs to enter. So we're gonna go to the devices real quick and enter MHPQW. And then we'll, we'll join them in. And we'll watch as these devices join the session. MH P, Q, W. We're getting logged in on all these. Move that back down there. Move that back up here. And M, H, P, Q, W. So now our devices are logged in. We can see I've got three students logged in. Move the windows around just a little bit for us. Three students are logged in now. And I can tell that because on my teacher device right here, here's where it is. I can see the three students that are logged in. So um, now we are going to notice that the teacher device and all student devices look the same. I can talk about the introduction, talk about creating mobile courses, engaging your audience, and assessing participation with the audience. And if I just swipe from right to left on my device right now, Notice that everyone else changes, and now they're gonna put in their information. So we're gonna have Bobby, he's gonna choose send, and we're gonna do uh, Mary, and we're gonna submit that, and we're gonna do John, and submit that. So here we go. Now on our device, we can see now Bobby, John, and Mary. Now they have names, they're not just plain old people there. So now they're in. So now that I've got my students signed in, just gonna swipe over again, and now here we go. So Nearpod can be viewed in two different modes, as I was saying earlier, Nearpod Live or Nearpod Homework. Live is a synchronized version, homework is the self-paced version. Getting started with your Nearpod experience. Launch the Nearpod app from the instructor's device and sign in using your Nearpod username and password. From the My Library page, select a presentation and tap on the Launch button to start it. 
your students can now launch the Nearpod app from their devices and enter the session PIN number as displayed on the instructor's device. Each student can then sign into the session and the student list on the instructor's device is automatically updated when they press Submit. Now you're in control of your Nearpod session, so just swipe to the next slide. Swipe to another slide or easily navigate around your presentation using the thumbnails. Share a video. You've probably wondered where they get names for hurricanes. Well, or share a web page that students can navigate at their own pace. With Nearpod, you can easily execute assessment activities such as interactive question and answer slides, polls, quizzes, or free text activities. To learn more about Nearpod, including how to get started, creating presentations and more, please join us for one of our free webinars, details of which can be found on Nearpod. Okay, so we had a little bit of hiccup there. We lost the device during that video that I was playing there, but that's okay. Notice that it still shows as three connected because I do have the device connected. It just can't seem to put it onto my screen anymore, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and log that one out. So you'll see this number three will change once I've logged out to a two. We won't have to worry about that device anymore. So when I click here, you'll see, oh, Bobby dropped out. So there's Bobby, Bobby's now missing. Sorry, Bobby. That's okay though. <clears throat> okay, so um, it's real easy to use Nearpod. Once the devices are connected, you just go through as a teacher, you create your own slides, um, and this will kind of help you with some of that. So you can amaze your students with interactive features. So here are some of the features, let's swipe across. So now I have one that says, send us a picture. Um, so we're going to draw, this should look familiar, right? And we're going to send. And from my device here, we're going to change colors, draw and send. Now I could have inserted a picture, done a lot of things there on that one. So sent the pictures, you can see them, I've got them on my device, I like them, I can tap them if I want to make them bigger to see them. I like that, if I want to share it back out, just click there. And look, there's the picture shared. Notice the name didn't go with. I know it was Mary's, but I just want to talk about this one. Um, and then I want to say, now let's look at John's together. Notice the devices will switch to show the different pictures um, and different things that I have there. So really cool, really easy to send things out um, to students. So another one, the interactive. If I want the students to, to see a picture and have fun, well, there's the picture that I would send to you. So, a question here. What's your favorite new wonder of the world? Well, I could answer this and su click submit. And we'll have the other one answer the other one and click submit. And so, you see the answers that have rolled in. Now, notice no answer because Bobby's dropped out. So, no answer still shows up in there. So, we have Machu Picchu and Christ the Redeemer as our leaders in this category. <clears throat> All right, so here's all the other features. Poll, draw it, quiz, video, share web pages, slideshow, audio, and homework. There's so much you can share with Nearpod that we could spend hours just doing a demo. There are videos out there. Go to YouTube, search for Nearpod demonstration. You will see so many things. Uh, if you're going to an EdTech conference soon, you will see people using this um, and training on this. Go to a session. It's so easy to use, so fun to use once you've created your own pulling your class, having them draw it, the quizzes, all these things, they are very, very, very easy. I like this because you can send videos straight out to students. You can send audio straight out to students. It's, it's pretty, pretty useful. Let's keep going. So it's not just useful for what it can send to students, but it's also useful for what it can get back. The feedback that comes, you can export your reports into a CSV or more commonly a spreadsheet file for us. You can send it in PDF, and these PDFs for the data, they really do look beautiful. I know this is a small picture right here, but they look beautiful when they come. Nearpod does a real good job of adding color um, to make things stick out and make your reports look professional. You could turn these into an administrator, a coach, show them to parents on individual students. You would be um, a million bucks to them. So you can also add things in, um, so all from the Nearpod store, you can explore, there's content created by other people in Nearpod, um, and there's even companies now that are third parties sending in um, their own videos from Khan Academy, um, TED Ed, and other places. So Nearpod really is pulling content and grabbing content from some of the best places that it can come. So Nearpod, it's available, you can get it. 
um, free. Um, you download it on your, your Android or your Apple device. If you're on a Windows device, you can download it there too. It's on Nook. It's in the Chrome Web Store. I mean, it's, there's a web app that'll work on any browser. You can't possibly um, miss out on this awesome tool. There's so many ways to use it. So that's Nearpod. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Nearpod is one of my favorites to use. Um, just This was just a simple introduction into it. Just wanted you to be able to see it. Um, uh, kind of go through the motions here. So many things you can do with it. I encourage you download Nearpod, play with it, see what you can do. Thanks for tuning in for these sessions of iPad 201. We are so glad that you have been able to be a part of this and we look forward to you giving us feedback. You can send us feedback um, onto our website, um, jamielachlan.com. You can send it there. Um, you can send us feedback um, through Twitter. I am at Jamie Lachlan. Here we go. Pull them up. So Jamie Lachlan on Twitter, jamielachlan.com. There's links to send there too. You can also send it to my personal email, jwlachlan at gmail.com. Want to hear your feedback? Is there another video you'd like to see? Let us know. Thanks for tuning in. iPad 201, iPad 101. Have a great day.